Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on my friend's F30 335i with the N55 engine. We're going to be upgrading his uh, interface to Apple CarPlay using this right here. It's an MMI box. So we're going to be hooking it up and this is what it comes with, all the parts and then the actual uh, box is right here which goes inside. This is the screen he has which is the 8.8 .8 inch screen. It's an NBT, uh, NBT iDrive. This model year is a 2015. Uh, after the NBT, it went to Evo, so you would be getting a different one for that. Let's start off with removing this trim here. It's pretty simple. I didn't even need any pry tools. I just pulled out here steadily and then bring it all the way out until this trim comes off. And then you want to unhook the cables here. So you want to pull down here and this will remove the bottom trim cover here. There's a one, one piece here that you can remove. So now we have uh, access to the T20 screws. There's two down here and then two on the very top up here. We'll just leave this on the side since it's long enough. Okay, so we've got four uh, T20 screws to take out to get the NBT unit off. So there's also two more screws, one right here and one right there. And that holds the screen in place. So we're gonna take those out as well. So we got the screws out here and the screws out on the top. So now we can go pull this unit out at the top. All you do is you just pry it upward and this will loosen this. Okay, we're pulling out the NBT now. Make sure you uh, guard your shifter here so you don't scratch it. Okay, so you'll see a bunch of uh, cords here. Let's start off with the ones you can see first. One more cable. So using a screwdriver helps to pry that out. There you go. Now I got one more harness left, which is the quad lock harness over here. This one is pretty similar to the previous generation. Pull that up. This is how it works. It's just this little uh, switch here. So you just click up and then you can pull that out. And pull this power cable through. So here's the original quad lock harness. So we're gonna remove the green and black cable here. And this is done through pushing this piece and then pulling it out. But make sure you have this black and green cable uh, picked out so that you can put it in the new quad lock. So put that in and then clip it down. So we're gonna plug this green and black cable to the new quad lock harness right here. Now we're ready to plug this into the new one, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and set up the new box. Here's the new box. And this is basically just like a, a relay box or like a, a piggyback. So the old NBT is gonna be connected to this, and then this is gonna connect to the screen. So this is like the uh, in-between man right here. Let's go ahead and route the usb cable though you do want the usb cable this is how you connect to carplay so we're already going to put that somewhere underneath the trim here as well as the aux cable yep so there's an aux audio cable here we'll have to route this to his uh, aux port so right now i am routing the aux cord through the bottom so go ahead and show them the other side here I have the aux cord now, pulled it out through this bottom trim, routing the USB cord through, and uh, I'm feeling it on the other side, and we're giving birth to a USB cord. <laughs> so here's the uh, stock screen. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take off this uh, LVDS power connector. There it is. Okay, got that one out. Let's start with the box. So the box uh, has these two 
we've got an in and an out. Yeah. So let's plug, plug in this white one here. Mm -hmm. that says two box LVDS in. So we'll plug that in first. So this blue one here is gonna go to the NVT because it says here to the to CD. Route this through here, through the center. Okay, so this is routed through here now. Perfect. Now it's able to plug that into the CD. So for LVDS out, we're gonna plug this purple one. And then this top part of it is gonna go through up here because it's gonna be connecting to the screen. Okay. So the next uh, cord is gonna be power. Before we uh, do that, let's route it up through uh, the AC vents. So power is right here. And then we're gonna go hide this into this corner over here. Make sure that everything's plugged in here first. Yeah. So you got all your plugs in, mic, LVDS in and out, mm -hmm. and power right power. here. Okay. Bend this plastic piece like this and then fit this right through. Got it. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're gonna hide all the cables in there as well. Now we gotta just plug everything in and test it and hopefully it works. Let's start with the screen. Okay, so the screen's on. This in. So this bluish one that goes to the CD LVDSN, you have to take your old cable and plug it into that and that's like your extension. So plug it into the old cable and then this one that went to your uh, NBT before is gonna go right here in the pink one. Now, go ahead and plug everything else in. Uh, it's through co color codes, so let's try it when we're ready here. Okay, quad lock is going in. Okay, almost in there. Now we gotta fit this whole entire mess inside the uh, box in here. Okay, we got that. Now we'll button everything up and hopefully it still works after that. So all the trim is back on now. Everything works, we've tested it all. Uh, let's go show you some quick settings here. If you hold the menu button down, you can go back to the main screen and this is where you can do your settings, vehicle info, navigation. Uh, the main thing you're looking for is multimedia because you have to set it to aux in order for the sound to work. So make sure aux front is checked. And just so that to make it easier, you can make a shortcut here. So which shortcut do you not need here? So uh, I'm gonna make this number eight shortcut. So I'm just gonna hold down number eight and that's aux front so anytime the sound doesn't work just press number eight and it'll always go to aux so it'll default back to aux uh, because that's how the sound works hold the menu button to go back to the cool screen and then in the cool screen you have settings that you want to do when you first adjust the wireless apple carplay you have to go choose this uh, button and then follow the prompts uh, on your iphone settings uh, go to carplay and then search for the box it's called limb set box uh, do you have settings here as well if I can find it there it is settings you're clicking that in and then here's your settings very simple you got some sound equalizers here we're not gonna mess with that you have display brightness contrast there we're not gonna mess with that uh, for the factory camera which Mark has on his car we're just gonna just leave it at that so that it works uh, there's no upgraded backup camera for this one and then uh, general settings is right here so volume and navigation volume so not too much settings pretty simple this is not an android screen that has a touch screen it's just a simple box um, so the main features are uh, being able to play video through usb uh, bluetooth calls and there's also mirroring here i believe that only works for android phones you do have android auto and carplay 
as well as music, uh, the stock music app. I think the highlight of this whole thing is the CarPlay. So we're gonna click CarPlay, and here it is. Uh, right now it's connected wirelessly, but you can do wired as well to a USB, which we routed the USB uh, to the passenger's uh, footwell. So right now you have all your usual apps here. The main thing is being able to do um, navigation and music. So that's the uh, install for this Android uh, MMI box. This one works for the F30 uh, 335i uh, 2015 with the NBT iDrive. Thank you so much for watching. If you uh, have any questions, please leave a comment and we'll be happy to help. Have a good afternoon.